You're watching Black Tree on TV. Hi there, I'm Sydney Wheeler with Black Tree TV. Jumping just right in, first question for you, Luke. Something that I noticed was that the stories were so diverse and it really reflected in the writing. How important was that in writing the show? Well, th making it thanks so much for singling that out because that was obviously uh, something we took very seriously this season. Um, the writer's room began in the middle of 2020. Uh, America was kind of in the center of the tumult following the George Floyd um, uh, protests. And there was just a real hunger in the writer's room to try to address some of these issues or try to get a discussion going, particularly in a kid's show where um, the bringing up of these issues can hopefully get a conversation started and can um, have people thinking about these things at a, at a younger age. So we knew right away, or very early on in the process anyway, that the main character would be an African-American uh, female. And as we kind of built the team out uh, of, the, of the main characters, we had this Syrian refugee character as well. And that really just informed a lot of the, um, the storytelling, both in the personal lives of our characters, how they would interact with each other, how they would interact with their families. And it was just really important to us at every stage of the process to be as uh, as authentic as we could, from casting to writing um, to costumes and beyond. Awesome. And for Andrew, what are you hoping that kids could take away specifically from this season? Um, well, specifically, um, certainly like with the Nia storyline, um, you know, I hope that it'll foster conversation with their parents um, about racism and hopefully even encourage them to try to do something uh, in their community. So hopefully the viewing experience doesn't just end when the episode's over, that it, it uh, you know, creates um, thought. Um, and then as always with the show, um, hopefully it also um, inspires a love of reading and literature and that kids will uh, uh, not only want to see the characters come to life, but also then want to go read the, the books. And some of these books are classic. Where am I? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This can't be happening. Hey, you! Do you know how to get to the road? Which, uh road exactly Bye, Malcolm. be good Charlie Wizard of Oz nice you know the wizard right uh is this like a weird theater thing what on your tail again? Uh, sorry, I was uh, nervous. Who are they? Absolute classics. And for the both of you, is there any episode that you're excited for the audience's response to, or you're just excited for the fans to get to see? Um, there, there are a lot that I'm proud of. There's a, um, there's episode five uh, turns on this, um, there's a bunch of mystery stuff that's being kind of unraveled, and then there's sort of an unexpectedly moving uh, climax at a house party among Syrian refugees that we um, we were very uh, eager to get this as right as we could. There was lots of research involved and in assembling the right people, even just asking the cast members, you know, what's the right way to pour the coffee and things like that. And that was... Um, uh, that was a real challenge and a real pleasure, um, at least on set, uh, among the cast to, um, to get the details right, you know. Okay. And for you, Andrew? Probably the same. Um, although I'm also very excited for, um, Charlotte's Web, which 
is not only a classic, but I think the way it was handled uh, was so beautifully done. I would also say the the best moment of the season, or the most important moment of the season, because I don't want to diminish her amazing acting, is in the when Princess Map, who plays Nia in the first episode, yes. is racially <clears throat> profiled on this van. It's just a, an incredible performance, a powerful moment, and I, I wouldn't want to overshadow that. Okay, well, I'm excited for the audience audiences to get to see. And I thank you so much for both of your times. Thank you so much. Thank you.